Happy Monday, everybody. This is Joyce from BoQ Creations, and today is Man Card Monday. So I hope everybody is doing well today. It is Monday, so we're recovering from the weekend. <laughs> so I hope everybody is uh, doing well. I have got a treat for you today. Hello, Terry. Good morning. Actually, for Terry, it's probably afternoon. So good afternoon, Terry. Hello, Deanna. How are you this morning? Gosh, everybody's up and ready this morning. And Anne McNulty, how is Hunter? Doing Hi, good? Annie. Jay says Annie. Hi, Annie. Hi, Belinda. How are you? Diane Enlow. Welcome, welcome. And Doris. And why is Alan texting me? He's supposed to be working. I'm getting text messages from Alan as I'm trying to say hello to everybody. Why isn't he working? Hi, Christian. How are you? Hi, Verna. Good morning. And Debbie Roberts. So I have... Um, the prize pack from yesterday. So on yesterday's sidewalk sale, hello Cherie, good morning. Um, so after yesterday's sidewalk sale, I said anybody who shares our video from yesterday, hi Diane, um, will receive this lovely little Teresa Collins prize pack. So this one is going to Sue Walker. Yay. So Sue, thank you for sharing our video. Don't we chose... You. We, we put everybody's name that shared the video in a hat, and we pulled out a name. So when you share a video like that, we put her in for a prize. So, Sue, this is coming to you, honey. It's a Teresa, Pri uh, Teresa Collins prize pack, and the little handmade flower up here is out of crepe paper. So. Congratulations. Yes. So um, first I would like to say um, that we need to send some condolence, condolences and prayers out to our um, family member Ann, who just lost her brother. So Annie, we're praying for you. Um, we hope that um, you know that that you feel our love. Okay. So just know that we're praying for you, sweetheart. Hi TJ. Hi Pam. She says she's here now. Hi Cindy. Good morning. Okay. So I have a treat for you. Not only is it Man Card Monday, but um, we are going to do a different technique today. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do this technique. Hi, Claire. Welcome. I don't think I've seen you before, so if this is your first time, welcome. And Debbie uh, Roberts, let's see. I know. How's Hunter? She said he's a little pickle, but you know what? He is a sweetheart. She better not be picking on my little boy here. Yes. Okay, so let me get my iPad up so I can. So our sidewalk sale was lots of fun yesterday. Um... I don't know how many more times I'm going to be able to do that because um, I've kind of run out of uh, items to show you guys. Let me go down so you guys can see the mat and hopefully I will not hang up on you. There we go. Yes, there we are. Good, good, good. All right, let me tighten that up so you guys can see. There. Okay. Okay. First of all, I just want to acknowledge, Jay is over here having lunch, and whatever she is eating smells absolutely divine. I wish you guys could smell whatever it is that she's eating. What are you eating, Jay? Taco Bell burrito. She's eating a Taco Bell burrito, and it smells so good. I just want to let you know, she's, no, driving, me, she's driving me crazy over here with the smell. <laughs> Trying not to sit here with my mouth full in front of you guys and eat, but oh my gosh, it smells delicious. I know, Pam. I love Pam's card too, TJ. You just keep working on yours though, TJ, because I think you're going to take it. I think you're going to take it. Finally arrived after it traveled all over Texas and all is good. Oh, I'm so happy, <laughs> Belinda. That's why we love tracking numbers, right? Hi, Kathy. Good morning. And Cindy. Oh, everybody's here. The whole gang's here. Hi, Rosalie. Yes, Sandy, you're absolutely correct. I am using Lovely as a Tree today. Because Lovely as a Tree has this beautiful tree stamp here, and it's one of those stamps that lend itself really well to mirror imaging. <laughs> Verna says, Mmm, a chalupa. <laughs> so, um, so, anyway, so this stamp lends itself really well to mirror imaging, as does um, this set from Travelers. about the Halloween challenge. So Belinda, the Halloween challenge is simply this. Create something using Elizabeth Craft Designs flowers and, and or Elizabeth Craft Designs products in a Halloween type setting 
Halloween type, you can choose a card or a mixed media as as uh, Joseph did. You can do an altered item like um, Stephanie Soller did. Anything, just post oh it. God. Just post it on our site. I know Stephanie's was out of sight, out that, of sight. Yes. But um, you just post it, and that way you don't have to send anything in, and you don't have to um, get anything back. You're just posting a picture so you can show us our um, your lovely work, and we can all admire and revel in the beauty of our creations. So you just post it, hashtag Halloween challenge. And um, it's something that Joseph and I do a lot of times, and we asked that you guys... Uh, join in too just because it's a lot of fun and um, I don't know though I'm, I saw TJ's creation and that was really really spectacular so I'm hoping that um, we all just have fun in this it's gonna be so so fun okay first of all when you do mirror imaging there's two ways that you can do it okay so this is one way where you have like a water line and you need a reflection so you could do this with a pond, you could do this with a ship, you could do it with a set of trees maybe reflecting over some water, anything like that. And um, it would be, you know, any kind of reflection. But a lot of times what ends up happening is you can only get a one-way reflection, meaning that you can only turn the stamp one way to get the reflection. So I'm going to show you guys how if you were doing an ocean theme and you wanted the ocean liner to be on there as like a you know, like a, a, a reflection as you're going across the water. That's one way. The second way is to actually manipulate and turn the image upside down like that. Okay, so this is an exact mirror image. So you can't tell one way or the other which way it was supposed to be. See? Oh, Cherie, I'm absolutely going to show all the Halloween challenges because they're going pictures are going to be posted on Boku Creations. So everybody's going to get to see them. And this Friday, um, this week Friday, we're going to show all of the swaps from last, um, last month, which reminds me to show you guys one more time the swaps for this month. We're doing an embellishment box. Um, okay, they're gone again. Those three little plastic boxes? There they are. <laughs> okay, so these are the embellishment boxes, and we're doing it in a Christmas theme. So I did this cute little thing. You can get these boxes from uh, the Dollar Tree in the hardware section, and they're just cute little boxes. And you're going to decorate it and include at least five of the little cubby compartments filled. So you don't have to fill all of it like I did but you can, you certainly can. So I have all these little cute buttons and embellishments and stuff that someone's going to receive as well as a cute little decorated box. So you're going to send in one box decorated with your five embellishments and you're going to get one in return. So I'm going to put you in, in groups. So these are two that, um, one was made for me from another swap so I just wanted to show you some possibilities they crackled the box over here they lined it with beautiful lace and you know of course this is a shabby chic swap that we did but um, you know you can see that you can do a lot with it so I just wanted to let you know this is the newest swap for this month and of course it's due on the last day of the month which is the 30 days of September April June and November all the rest of 31 so October has 31 days did I get your message about tailored expressions from yesterday, Pam? Yes, I did. And it's already in your package. Okay, so back to Man Card Monday. So you can do an exact mirror image replica like this, or you can do a reflection. And I'm going to show you guys both ways today. And then I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can achieve this. But I have found hands down the best way. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways, and then I'll show you what I consider to be the best way. And that's just my opinion, you know, it's just my opinion. Okay, so the first thing that you can do is, you know the acetate that comes on your stamps or you might ha get a tonic dye or something and it has a piece of acetate? This is one of the easy ways that you can um, do this. You're not, yeah, I have to or else I don't remember um, what day of the month it is, TJ. <laughs> I have to or I don't remember. Okay. So the first thing that you can do is to take your acetate, 
put it over your um, piece of cardstock or something on a stamp positioning tool and then pick up your um, your image okay so I'm gonna take let me turn this around so that you guys can see so this is my Stamparatus stamp positioning tool I even knew that Halloween was on the 31st of October but I still said it because it just you know I just can't can't do it without saying it so the first important thing that I want to tell you is use a water-based ink do not use stays on or something like that because it's going to dry so quickly that you can't um, that you can't get a good image so I just inked my memento pad so it would be nice and juicy notice I am not using my um, ink on three for today I'm using my uh, memento because it's going to stay wet longer and I'm going to stamp the image this is probably the easiest way that people have done this over the past years. And you can get an image like this on your uh, piece of acetate or your piece of uh, plastic. Then you can take it and flip it around and you can stamp and get an exact replica or you can turn it upside down. This is the advantage of putting it on acetate because you can turn it upside down and then you can just brayer it on to your project or burnish it onto your project okay and it'll come right off of the plastic and onto your project and you'll see it going on just like that okay there we go I can lift it up and then now my image is off of here and I can wipe this off with a baby wipe and be completely done the problem with this technique sometimes is that it slides you know, it's uh, plastic, so it can um, slide up and down, and then you, um, you know, smear your image. The next thing I like to do when I'm repositioning my, um, my stamp is I like to take the plastic then again and put it over my project because my stamp is still inky. And I could, you know, clean off my stamp if I wanted to, but I'm going to put this exactly so that it would be a mirror image of my one that I just did and then I'm gonna pick up my stamp that way I know see I have like an image that I know exactly where it's gonna be oops I'm off the screen there we go so I know exactly the, where my image is gonna be now because when I lift this up I can now stamp okay so if I wanted to shift it up or lower it down so that it was exactly on top of it like that I could certainly do that and then change my image but I don't want to. I want to leave it exactly where it is. So I'm going to take mine and I'm going to re-ink it. The letters that I did this years ago and had forgotten using the stamp position would be so helpful for this. Oh, yes, because a lot of people used to use the stamp of a jig and you know you had to put it on the T-square and you had to so this is so much so much easier. There we go. Now I have my complete mirror image that I'll show you how to um, color here in a few minutes. Okay, so now I have my mirror image and I can color my rolling hills and put it on the reflection on the water if I want to, and this is my sky. Whatever I wanna do at this point, now I have an image. So you can do this technique with not only um, acetate, you can do it with wax paper. You can also do it with those um, mats from Stampin' Up, the silicone mats. But I want to show you a product that I swear by, okay? And I know that Verna is going to be so excited because she just got hers. I showed this on Zoom um, a couple of weeks ago and um, wanted to use it today to show you guys. It is called Ink on 3, and it's called the Mirror Image Stamp. So basically what this is is a big piece of photopolymer that acts as your stamp technique now it's it's your it's a big piece of photopolymer you can see let me see if you guys can see that on there see that big photopolymer stamp here so what you're gonna do is you're actually going to let me clean off my magnets here yes then you can see you know where that way you're not because on my first one, I messed up the line here and I wanted it exactly spaced. So when you put the plastic over, you know exactly where it's going to be. 
So it does work out really good. So I'm going to use the ship this time. And I want to show you how to use the photopolymer. I'm hoping you guys can see that. There it is. Can you see? Oh, yeah, Bob, yeah, right. Now you can see it. Okay, good. Well, I couldn't see it showing up on the camera, <laughs> so I wasn't sure how it was coming off to you guys. Okay, so I'm going to take and put this on my stamp positioning tool, and all I did was lay it down and then pick it up with my stamp positioning tool. I'm going to take my ship. Bless you, Jay. Bless you. Okay, so I'm going to take, and you don't have to put the stamp on the block. As you can see, I can lay it right there and achieve the same thing. Okay, let me get my magnet is underneath here. All right, so I'm going to put my ship right there. I'm going to ink it up, and I'm going to make sure that it goes on my stamp. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to take my memento. I could certainly use Stampin' Up's gray or Distress or... In fact, I think I might use the gray instead of the black. Any water-based ink will do, okay? So I'm going to use the gray here. And actually, on the stamp Stamparatus, if you um, take off the paper, it'll stay positioned. Okay, so let me get it all nice and inky there. Okay, you just need a good water-based ink. And then you're going to take and... <laughs> that's okay that's a good thing about uh, uh, Facebook is all yeah, this stuff stays on there yep. yep so I'm gonna stamp the image directly onto the photopolymer stamp now I know you guys can't see that let me make sure it came out good see now you can see it on the image I don't know can you guys can y'all see it the image is barely there but it is okay so I'm gonna pick up the stamp I'm going to grab my piece of paper. Let me get a piece of paper. I love this photopolymer stamp. This thing is amazing. All right, so I'm going to take my stamp, and I can see exactly where I want it placed. But you see, if I stamp it right now, it's going to be right side up. See? Gosh, I can't stay in frame today. Okay, so the image is right here. And this is the top of the ship, and this is the bottom. But if I want it to appear as though the ship is upside down in the water, see? If I stamp it right now, it's going to be like this. So what I did was I took out my stamp positioner, and I flipped it around, and now the boat is upside down. See? So now the boat is upside down on the uh, water. There we go. And now I can stamp it where I want it to be. In fact, I'm going to turn the paper around long ways because I forgot it was too short for the long for the short way. All right, there we go. And now I'm going to stamp it, the stamp positioning tool, upside down. And now you can see the gray adhering to the cardstock. And then when you lift it up. The image comes directly off. Isn't that amazing? See? And now I have the reverse upside down image. Okay? So now I can take my stamp again with my piece of acetate. That's the thing about acetate, you lose it. <laughs> and I can take my stamp and I can position it just so there's a water line. There we go. And I can use my stamp positioning tool again to pick up my image. And now I can stamp it the right way. Well, right side up. I don't know if it's the right way or the wrong way. It's right side up. Yes, and need this update. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. I believe it, um, I knew somebody was going to ask that. I think it's fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, I don't know if we, is there any, they might be over at the warehouse. I don't know if we have any hanging there. But yes, we do have some. I believe they're fourteen ninety nine. And then there is my image, nice and crystal clear and reverse imaged. And it looks like that that is right on the water. Isn't that beautiful? 
So Diane, this photopolymer stamp is called a mirror image stamp from Ink on 3. And when you first get it, it looks like a big black box, but that's actually just the back of it because I'll tell you a little something about stamps, especially photopolymer ones. So photopolymer stamps start out like a sheet of plastic, okay, like um, a big sheet like this. And wherever the image is, you know, sometimes you see like the images on the stamp and, you know, that image when it gets exposed, it's the photopolymer cures and it stays on there and then they rinse it all the rest of it away. So when they rinse it all away, then you get the photopolymer stamp. With this one, they had to rinse it all away and expose that rectangle. So that's why all the rest of it was um, rinsed away and you just see the black right there because they wanted to make sure that that piece right there was gonna stay photopolymer. So that's how that is made and that's why there's a black piece. But it's from Ink on 3 and it's called the Mirror Image Stamp. And we do carry these. We love, love, love this um, stamp here at Boku Creations. This is, for me, it was a game changer. What size is it? That's a good question, Belinda. Let's see. Um, it is five by five by three and three quarters. So it's five inches long by three and three quarters inch wide. And it's really cool because if you take and do a, a another image, you can put it on a stamp. For instance, let me grab one of these smaller um, pine cones here. So you can take and you can stamp this directly from your photopolymer stamp onto the photopolymer. Okay, so let's say you wanna do a couple images here. Let's say we'll do three in a cluster. Okay, so. Uh, Max, is that something like the old x-ray sheets? Um, similar, uh, you know, they used to rinse all the stuff off of it. So yeah, it's, the, it's a similar thing, Lynette, yes. Um, similar to that process. Yes, I will in just a moment, Verna. I knew that question was going to come up. And should it be stored on the black sheet? Well, you have to remember that this is a photopolymer stamp, just like any other stamp that you have, and you treat it as such, okay? You treat it as you would any other photopolymer stamp. And the reason it's not coming out is because I still have the magnet under there. There we go. So there's my image. See? So you can stamp it directly onto this or you can um, use it and like I just did. I'll show you another image in just a moment. So Verna said, can you talk about the edges on the stamp? So I had somebody tell me that it didn't work for them the first time. And I want you to see that beveled edge right there. Do you see this edge here? Okay, so there is a beveled edge. Let me see if I can get a good picture of it. There's a beveled edge right here and this part is a little bit raised. You can see the dimension in it right here, okay? So this smaller part is actually the front. So when you receive your stamp, when you get it from the manufacturer, it looks like this, okay? So at this time, if you wanted to write F on here or front or something like that, you're gonna see the front of the stamp when you get it. It's gonna be on this black sheet, okay? Just like any other photopolymer stamp, okay? I'm gonna wipe off the images so I don't actually use them again accidentally. Okay, so it's gonna come just like this with a piece of acetate on top of it and you're gonna treat it like you would any other photopolymer stamp, okay? So when you peel it off of your black sheet this is the back so we've got the front there's a beveled edge here the smaller part of it is the front the flat part is the back and it's got a larger edge you'll see it when you get it okay so there's actually a lip on it so this is the front of your stamp okay um sandy it does look like a small gel plate the only difference is is that the gel plate actually is made of gelatin and it has pores in it so it absorbs the inks as opposed to this one where it just sits on the top. The only thing I am gonna caution you is that if you use stays on or any kind of permanent ink on here, you will get a stain that you have to clean off with ink stamp cleaner solution, okay? So, but this is really, really neat for, um, let me grab the animal set that I used um, on the, um, 
Good morning, Joseph. How are you? I hope everything is well. Are you sore from yesterday? Joseph was doing some manual labor yesterday. What was he doing? He was uh, reconstructing. Yeah, doing some reconstruction. Hi, Zach. Okay, so let's say I have a kangaroo or a rhinoceros like I do right here, and I want the kangaroos to be looking at each other. Okay, so on this stamp, it can't. Thank you, Zachary. So on this stamp, it can't. So when I stamp it, when I stamp the kangaroo, it's just gonna be a kangaroo, okay? Let me show you guys. Well, I got Long mail. I got happy mail. Oh, from, from Doris, Sandy, and and Doris, Sandy, and Barbara. And Barbara, thank you guys so much. I got happy mail today. Okay, so there's my kangaroo as it's stamped. Okay. Now, what if I wanted another kangaroo looking at him? Well, I'm not going to be able to get that image unless I stamp it on something else and reverse it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to ink it up again. I'm actually going to come over here and stamp it directly onto my um, photopolymer stamp. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to center my kangaroo where I want it, my paper. And if I had planned this a little bit better, my kangaroo wouldn't have gone off the paper, but there we go. I'm bring it down just a little bit. Hope you guys can see this. So I'm just manipulating the paper. And now I'm gonna press down. Okay. And now my kangaroos are looking at each other. It, I needed to put that pad in there because this is a photopolymer and I didn't do that. So my apologies, it didn't come out exactly right, but it does when you do it. Oh, Annie, said, Annie said, Jay Hunter and I saved a tiny life, a baby frog, your favorite. Aww. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, at least he didn't eat it, Ann. You know, he could have eaten it. All right, so I'm just going to reposition this so that I can get the image. Probably not probably not even going to get this up right. But anyway, you get the point. There we go. Stamp a little bit better. So anyway, the point is, is that you're going to stamp it on here and then you go. And how do you clean it? Okay. So how do you clean it? It's very simple. You treat it just like you would any other photopolymer stamp. Okay. You can take a baby wipe and wipe it off. See? It comes right off with a baby wipe, and you treat it just like you do any other stamp. You peel it off of here when you're done with it, and you put it back on your um, little black image sheet here, and you store it in your with your other acetate piece on it, and just like any other stamp, you store it just like you would any other stamp that you own, okay? That's a really neat product. I think it's definitely something that I will continue to use for a while. Oh, wow. Hunter eats, eats dead, dried up critters. Ew, Hunter. All right, so I'm gonna get my um, ship in here today because this is Man Card Monday. So I don't wanna get all bogged down with the technique that we don't get the man card done, right? Okay, so I'm gonna get both of my blue brushes out here. These are really cool. I mean, the photopolymer stamps are really, really cool. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my blue inks, and I have two colors here. Well, I did. Diane Prince, I'm going to bear more intelligent tonight, thanks to you. <laughs> well, you know, it has to do a lot with, um, with how stamps are made, you know, and, and everybody was asking, well, why is that thing black if, you know, it's, uh, why is it black if it's, you know, a stamp? And I said, well, that's not black. It's the black that they had to do to, in order to rinse it off. Oh, she says, oh, okay. I said, yeah. All right, so I'm using the new Bluebell ink 
from Close to My Heart right here. And then I have one from Stampin' Up. So the Bluebell ink is a lot darker than the, um, the Stampin' Up one. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pounce my brush off a little bit, just a little bit, because I don't want it. And I'm gonna start off on my paper and I'm gonna come over here because you know the water between the ships should be darker, okay? So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna make that water between the two ships really, really dark. And I'm gonna try to blend it out really dark, okay? There we go. And then I'm gonna take my lighter ink and this one is Marina Mist by Stampin' Up. And it's almost very similar color. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna start blending that out because this is gonna be my, I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. Oh, one of the boxes is from Ann Hassan. Okay, good. She was looking for that. So, Ann, your box did come in today. Yeah, she was really nervous because it should have been here already. Okay, so I'm just blending this in so that I can make sure that my blues match. Okay, and then I can make a night sky up here if I want to, if it's nighttime or um, if I wanted another lighter color. So I'll probably choose, I'll make it daytime. How about that? And I'll make it lighter. Let me grab my other blue. I think I'm gonna use balmy blue. That's the new um, blue from Stampin' Up. Okay. There we go. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more blue. Now I'm gonna cut this down a little bit to fit my card, so don't worry about all this blue that, you know, <laughs> I just always like to make sure I get a good blend, and so I use the whole piece of cardstock. So I'm gonna be really light right here because I don't wanna cover up the ship that much with blue. There we go. And just like that, I have an image on the ocean. <laughs> I know Anne was like, you haven't received my box yet? I'm like, nope, I have not. She says, oh my gosh. I said, well, it traveled all over the US, that's why. Sometimes I wonder that why the post office likes to make things work harder. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my trimmer. I'm gonna cut this down a little bit because I'm gonna mat it on something else. So there we go. Cut a little bit off the top here. I said the same thing, Wendy. What? She said, you need an iceberg. That ship reminds you of Titanic. <laughs> That's exactly right there. Iceberg, right ahead. <laughs> no, that would be awful. Okay. So, and of course, I don't like my white edges, so I'm gonna come back in here with my Distress brush. Oh man, that stinks. Yeah, that would stink, Belinda, that you, ha you can watch me and then you can't. But you can play when you get home, right? Okay. So I got good news right before I went live today. The homepage is already ready. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's my image for that. Now I also wanted to show you what I was gonna do with the trees. So just so we have you know some idea of what, how or what you might do with, um, with these. <laughs> Joseph says, I love that stamp. Who's it from? Um, Joseph, this is actually a retired Stampin' Up! stamp called Traveler. And they have a train. You can also do the same thing with the train. Um, the suitcase, the ship, passport. So yeah, this is an old um, retired stamp. If anybody wants it, I can try to get it from the demonstrator connection to see if anybody has one that they wanna sell. But I think it is retired and I don't know, um, you know if it will uh, be available, but I can, I can try for you. So this is grassy area, right? I'm gonna want this to be my grassy area. Oh my goodness. So close, but so far away, huh, Belinda? Okay, so I'm just taking my green. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker in here. I love blending. I think blending is so much fun. So there's gonna be... After the Miranda's read to you. 
I have the right to remain silent. I don't want to. There we go. So there's my green. And I think I'm going to make this like sort of a fallish kind of card. So I'm going to grab some yellow. Um, probably a... Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Some delightful Dijon. How about some delightful Dijon? It just sounds like a like a, a color that you might use for... Okay. So you see me tapping off my brush here. And the reason I'm doing that is because when I start blending, if I have fresh ink on the tip of my brush and I start blending, as soon as I start blending, you're going to see a dark spot. See that? So if I tap off my brush a little bit right when I dip it in the ink, then I get a lighter blend. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to do is get a lighter blend. So there we go. I'm going to put a little yellow in here. There we go. Making sure I put a little yellow down here too because this is the mirror image. And we want it to look exactly alike. Or I could have made this water. You know, and I could have made it um, reflecting upon some water, but I kind of wanted to make it exactly the same. There we go. Okay. And now I'm going to grab a little bit of blue or maybe even some orange. Maybe orange. We'll make it kind of... I'm hoping I find one of those stamps. I love anything travel. Anything travel. And the Luna said I love to blend too. Kind of relaxing. I played with watercolors and the night blue armor. This weekend. Oh, I bet that looked good. <laughs> All right, so I'm tapping this off because I don't want a really dark orange. And I'm going to start over here and I'm just going to add a little bit of orange to my picture here. I can put one of my fall sentiments on here. There we go. And I'm going to do the reverse here. It's a good thing I'm going to cut that corner off because it didn't come out like I wanted. All right, so I'm just going to blend this in. And there we go. Now I have a nice man card that I can put a sentiment, a happy birthday sentiment or something on and call it done. <laughs> but not the ability. <laughs> I know, Ron White. You know what I wonder? I wonder, does he really drink? Or is that like apple juice or iced tea in that cup? Because he just keeps right on going, you know? Like he's... So, technique today. We've got reverse image and we've got upside down image. Okay? And both were achieved using the Ink on 3 photopolymer stamp, reverse image stamp from Ink on 3. Now, if you're interested in one of these, all you got to do is say add to cart and we'll make sure that you get one. Okay. Um, let's see. It is 1240. So I can do one more image for you guys. Um, there's one other image that looks really, really nice. Debbie said, I think he's a real drinker. You do what? You think he's a real drinker? I don't know. He just keeps going and going. And I thought, wow, at some point he's going to be so like out of it that he can't you know but he never does so um i guess i could go ahead and finish these two cards huh Kathy likes to reflect shit. i do like the, I'm, i want to make the one a reflection in the pond um this one right here the lovely as a tree i wanted to show you guys how you could do this as water and then do the skyline so maybe we will do that instead of another image okay so let me grab another my lovely as Sammy, a treat. Sammy said open mail. Oh, open the mail? All right, I'll open the mail. Okay, you guys. That's Sandy. All right, so we'll start with Sandy's first since she's requesting me to open mail. <laughs> All right, let's see. Nice little package here. Um, what would you like us to add to car, Rosalie? Yeah, probably the stamp. Which one? The uh, photopolymer one from Ink on 3. All right, let's see. This is from Miss Sandy Glover. Oh my goshness, isn't that cute? Oh, Sandy, that's adorable. Oh. Look at her, she's hiding she's in the hiding. top of the mushroom. Oh my goodness. Happy birthday to you. Look at her red hair. <laughs> yeah, if you guys don't remember, her birthday's on Thursday. Oh, how <laughs> cute. This would totally be for your Halloween challenge, honey, because you've got the ECD flowers. 
Oh, we're going to enter this into the challenge. How adorable. Really Look at the stamping on the, the paper right there. I know she's got glossy leaves on the pumpkin and oh my gosh, it's so cute. Celebrating one of God's most remarkable creations. You love you, Sandy. Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. Well, she said it's you, Joyce. I little, know, I know. The little pigtails and everything. <laughs> Look at the little bows in it. Look how sweet. So Thank cute. you so much, Sandy. It's all ECD. I know I was looking. There's a little, these are ECDs also. The pumpkins are an old ECD and the leaves come from the pumpkin. Oh, these are adorable, Sandy. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? How stinking adorable. I'm going to put that up for the challenge. How adorable is that, you guys? Look at that. She made me a little... Joseph would like this card. It's all done with glitter. I mean, not that I don't like it. I love it. I'm just saying that he's he incorporates a lot of glitter in his. It's absolutely gorgeous, Sandy. Thank you so much. I love the pigtails. Pigtails are... That's it. Joseph said that's an amazing card. Pigtails are adorable. Yeah. Probably okay, let's see. I got one from Miss Doris. I know, peeking over the mushroom. Isn't that cute? She's like, hey, I got a heart for you. That's a little wooden veneer. That's that's really cute, that heart. Did it come like that, Sandy, or did you color it that way? The little veneer. Wooden piece. It's so pretty. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's see the one here from Miss Doris. All right, Miss Doris. Oh, my gosh. You're only old once. Enjoy. Oh, she stamped it on the glitter paper. How cute with the crazy creation oh. stickers, the lace stickers. You're only old once. Enjoy. Look, she's got a cup of coffee in her hand. That's totally that's, me. That is, that is totally me. That Red is. hair and the coffee in the hand. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I don't like to open it with. I hope your birthday is a great one. I don't act my age. <laughs> Maybe I do by doing things upside down. Oh, well, I think it's gorgeous. Thank you so much, you guys. Adorable. Oh, I love them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm feeling so much Sandy love. Said I inked it. You inked it? Awesome. I like how Belinda did this on the glitter paper. She, col she stamped and colored on the glitter paper. Yeah, how cute. Right? So lovely. Thank you guys so much. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to put these up on my my wall of uh brag wall over here thank you guys oh my gosh i'm loving it all right and then, you know what's so good about having crafting friends as friends it's like you don't get just a hallmark card yeah they don't you just can't. go to the store and just buy i think it's something like an unwritten rule i feel like it's just it makes it more per like yeah i think it's an unwritten rule that if you send a crafter a birthday card or something that's not handmade <laughs> i think you kind of get in trouble you know, I think you like, they look at you and go, why are you not sending me a, one of your handmade cards? And so Joyce is my daughter's age. She's young. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Sometimes I feel really old. Thank you guys so much. Oh, they're beautiful. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving it away, Anne. <laughs> mm. I love them, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. All right. So I wanted to... Um, bonjour. bonjour, Malika. How are you? I just did your whole mirror stamp thing. I know you are probably at work, but you'll have to go back and watch this because I did the mirror stamp thing. Image. Okay. So let's do um, one more, maybe in some more earthy colors. All right. Sherry said, Joyce, just think in a few years you can flip the numbers and be five again. Ooh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. So one thing that I need to tell you guys is that when you're using, um, what tree stamp is that? This is from Lovely as a Tree. It's a retired set, Marcella. If you're interested in the set, I can, I can reach out to the Demonstrator Connect people and see if we can have somebody who wants to sell one. But it is um, one of those stamp sets that you cannot get anymore. So, all right, so I'm going to peel. I know, they do. They're like, I told my mom one day, I said, um, 
I said, Mom, I have to, um, I sorry I sent you a Hallmark card. I said, but I spent quite a bit of money on it. And she goes, I don't care how much money you spent on it. As much stuff as you have in your craft room and I get a store-bought card. I know your mom would take that personal life. Yeah, she, she, she really did take it personally. It was like, <laughs> you know, if I've got that much stuff in my craft room, I better not give her a, a you know, hand, a Hallmark card that's not made by hand. Or she'd be like, are you mad at me? Yeah. And then on top of it, she, um, you know, she always hangs them on the wall in those boxes. So she's got a shrine. Oh, to Joyce. And I'm like, Oh mom, moms are always like that. They think Stephanie they're hi, mom. Stephanie. I just want you all to know that all of the beautiful work and changes that have happened on my Facebook page are because of Miss Soller. So thank you very much, Stephanie. I'm already seeing some beautiful things on the page. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes. People are able to post now. Thanks to Miss Soller. Well, thank you, Stephanie. I know. She's helping this computer illiterate person here. Yes, right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to pick up this image. Here we go. I have a card exactly like that, even same colors. Really? Well, great minds think alike, Miss Malika. Sure, said I'll trade you, Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Joyce, I'm horrible at this, but so everyone knows Thursday is our beloved Joyce's B day. Mwah. Nanny knows, but just a reminder. Just a reminder. Just a reminder. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's it's I celebrate birthdays. Birthdays are one of those days that Me too. I love Yep. Birthdays. I mean on Mother's Day I usually drive back and forth from my mom's house to Alan's mom's house and we usually don't get to spend the day, you know, being a mom and chilling out and having our day. So birthdays are really my celebratory day. Because it's your day. Because it's my day. Yep. So there's my reverse image, and as you can see, I um, can wipe this off. I can just wipe it off. There we go. All right, now I'm going to take and put my um, stamparatus. I got my little piece of plastic here, and I'm going to make sure that my image gets on there that we're exactly where I want it. Okay, so I'm going to turn it back up and lay it on my plastic here. And then I'm going to grab my stamping tool and pick it right up so I know it's right in the place where I need it to be. I love that thing. I know this tool <laughs> from Stampin' Up, it changed my life. Like, literally. I guess I need a magnet somewhere. <laughs> Joseph said, let's swap both of you for Joyce's B Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to, you guys get to share the whole day with me because we've got. Um, yeah. Zoom in the, I mean, live in the morning from 12 to 1. And then we've got Zoom, um, a, oh, we've got the AI class. AI. Yeah, we've got the AI class. So we won't be having Zoom other than the AI class, but that's okay. Those of you that signed up for that, we get to have a day together yeah. all day long. So then I'm just going to stamp this in a regular position. There we go. Oh, swarm, not swarm, not swap. <laughs> Joseph, you're so funny. There we go. So that is my image, my exact mirror image. Okay. Love the stamp positioning tool for this. Don't forget, Sue Walker won our share um, package from yesterday. All right. So what I'm going to do now is take the blue and I'm going to make this like a mirror image um, on a pond kind of thing. So, you know, let's say that this is the water line right here. Okay. So maybe I've got a nice little pond here. So I am going to take my blending brush and I'm going to come in right, actually, yeah, I'm going to come in right here just under that line right there with my blending, a little bit of blue ink. Okay. And I'm going to make it a little bit darker because this would be right at the water's edge. There we go. And then I'm just gonna use whatever ink is still left on my brush to blend it out the rest of the way. That's why I love these blending brushes because they hold on to ink really, really well. Yes, we have AI, so Roberta's gonna be teaching it so that I don't have to work on Thursday. I actually get to enjoy 
the day and spend it with you guys. And Roberta's gonna be teaching the AI class. I'm so excited to learn about the watercoloring stamps from Art Impressions. There we go. The reverse stamp, correct, Sandy? The ink on three stamp of my card, I'm guessing it's reverse. Oh, Sandy, you're talking about the ink on three stamp? The photopolymer mirror image stamp? So there we go. Now I've got that. Love this new Bluebell ink. This color is perfect for water. I like this one. Sometimes I have a hard time finding a water ink because um, it's either too blue or it's too turquoise or, you know, something like that. But I like that new Bluebell color. Sometimes you just got to get that color, you know, like you have a color and you just got to get it. Look how easy this card is. That's what I want to tell you, though. You know, like, sometimes you need a masculine card and you need it to be really easy because maybe you've got a birthday you forgot about or, you know, something of that nature. And you need to, you know, make a quick card. You just need your blending brushes and your stamp and away you go. And then I'm just going to grab some sunny yellow. Do what? Oh, no. Did you say... Oh, I thought you asked me something. All right, so I'm going to get some sunny yellow because this could be a yellowy, sunny afternoon. I put some different colors in here. And just like that, I now have a really pretty blended background. Sandy says you make it look so easy. Oh, it is. Look at that. See? You let the stamp do the work, you know? And then I could come in here certainly with some um, that's like a golf course. flower. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does. I could come in here with my um, my colored markers. Let me grab them. Sorry, Jay. <laughs> yeah. So I could come in here um, with my dual. Do you have any mirrors in, in stock? Yes, we do have some in stock. Okay. Yes, yes. Linda. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna yeah, take. You, I'm gonna take my green. This is why I love these water-based markers. These are the same ones that we're gonna be using for the AI because I can come in here and I can really highlight some of these areas here that I want to be kind of, you know, outstanding. But just like <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's that easy. And then I'm going to come in here and just add a little bit of a touch of coloring in here. Highlight some of these things. And then I can take my water, my blue one, and I can come down here on the water side. And I can make this look like a, you know, like the water's yeah, edge here. Oh, I'm telling you, these brushes, they're from Tailored Expressions. And they are just fabulous so there we go now we have the water we've got it right here underneath our image how's that right beautiful gorgeous gorgeous put a little liquid pixie in there oh, oh some fishing fish. scenes yes that would be perfect I think that would be gorgeous don't forget we do carry the dual brush pins oops I've got there we go all right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed the mirror image stamping. Here we go. Here's another one. They <laughs> said so, so those markers are so nice. Tell me no. I have too many markers. No, <laughs> <laughs> no Stephanie. But see, when you tell somebody no, they want it even more. So, you no, know, so. You said add water lines with a white gel pen. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah, we could totally oh, do that. that. Really nice. Yep. You could totally do that. I'm even thinking about gluing like a little bit of flower soft or something on my trees here just to make them look more realistic. And also with this set, um, they had a set of dies or I bought a set of dies. I'm not sure which. And they had a set of dies that you can cut this out. So I could take and um, cut my image out. I guess it would be this way. Cut my image out and layer it on top of there and make it look so much more realistic. So, yeah, there's all kinds of things. But the technique is that you want to do it, um, you want to do a mirror image 
So that's what <laughs> they turned out awesome. Thank you so much, Cherie. I appreciate that. Um, and then don't forget that you can do like little animals too, you know, where they can be face to face. I have a giraffe in this set um, right here and he's looking this direction. And so I have put the other one this way so that they're face to face and then little kissy hearts coming up for Valentine's Day. So that one is really, really cute. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's technique and man card Monday. Um, this makes a definite good man card. And if you're interested in the photopolymer stamp, reverse image mirror stamp from Ink on 3, let us know and we will get that out to you ASAP. Just say add to cart, add some skates die cuts. Oh, yes. See, I just think there's so many things that you could do. There would be a spooky card with water or witch or something. Yeah, I bet that would be really pretty. Sometimes you just want them facing the other way. You're right, Belinda. And it's hard to do that because the stamp is only one way. So this gives you the opportunity to change it around so that you can put it the way you want without having to worry about your acetate wrinkling or moving or, you know, anything like that. So, so there is our photopolymer stamp from Ink on 3. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much, Sandy and Doris, for the beautiful birthday cards. I love, love, love them. You guys are too good to me. Thank you so much. All right. You guys have a great day. I will see you tomorrow with some more fun, great techniques. And I'm going to go open a box or two. Have a great day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.